It's the Date Master back again. Good evening, YouTube. Make sure as soon as you come in, you see the premiere. Like, comment, subscribe. Has the red pill become toxic? And also, has it been compromised? What I've been noticing, it's been two things taking place. It has been a lot of exposure and not good exposure. And it also has been a lot of infiltration. Uh, you got, and not to name drop, but we do have to make reference since these are trending creators in the space. You have just Pearly and you have Hafiz. Hafiz is, I think, the creator or one of the creators of the podcast, The Roommates, and have a channel. And I saw him in CGA, Coach Greg Adams, going back and forth on a debate about marriage. I seen him and Pearly go about go go back and forth about two times, and it shows that Hafiz has no business in this space. That's pretty much what that showed. He's, again, <clears throat> someone who when you put him in the room with the right people and this is this is commonplace for a lot of people and a lot of things it's no different than when people say they're bosses and you put them in the room with a real boss or a room full of real bosses they cannot meet that standard this is the same with Hafiz um you look at just Pearly she's a in my opinion a newcomer her channel is b blowing out of the water and it looks as if the red pill is always looking for the next savior. These men, more so than the women, are coming into the rage of being rejected, uh, not meeting any woman's standards, not fulfilling any type of personal goals because they're too consumed with past failure. So what they do is look for an avenue, no different than a woman looking for a man or attention or validation via real life or Internet to take her mind off of her inadequacies, her past failed relationships, her position in life. Men are doing the same with this red pill. The Fresh and Fit podcast has blown up. And it has taken the Internet by storm. They're pretty much going viral every week. And I love the platform they have. And what it is, and again, I tell people it is not the design to have logical and elevating conversations with these women because the women that they choose and they have on the podcast on a regular basis, they're really no match for Myron when it comes to facts, data, and statistics. But this is just to expose the mindset. Anytime I look at a content creator and I look at the panel and the discussion. I don't look for a right or wrong. I get I extract the raw data. So you see DJ Academics and Sneeko coming on and they're raging. You see DJ Academics more so than Sneeko blowing up, talking about his money. I'm the prize. I'm this and that. That is the telltale sign of a red pill rager and a man that is secretly insecure. No matter how much money you have. Real life happens because money is really not real. If you look at how long civilization has been around in mankind, money has not always been present. So we know it's a farce. It is a tool that we have to use in the modern world for commerce, for necessities, living, etc. But in my opinion, we are coming close to compromising this red pill and it's going to have to adapt extract not extract but uh what's the word exfoliate the posers you have too many voices too many creators coming into space and they're just welcome with open arms channels blowing out of the water you later find out that they had secret agendas they were not who they pretended to be or who they led us to believe and you have a lot of misinformation going about and you have a lot of uh, I wouldn't say extorting, but you have a lot of manipulating of the information. And that is another proponent that adds to the men going into these depressions because they're looking at these high level guys in these panels of people who have succeeded. But the one thing you really don't find out is the backstory as to how they got there. As a man, it's only going to get harder for you. It is not going to get easier. 
If you're looking for easy street, go that way. There is nothing there for you of value. There is nothing there. Do not take this red pill and use it as an opportunity to rage and who and to get back at your exes or previous women that you took an interest in, but they did not take an interest in you. Fail relationship, fail marriage. Do not take this red pill to spaz out. You take it to understand and correct. Too many opportunities are taken to pretty much disrespect these women. And I'm not caping for women by no means, but I'm also pointing out that a man and his emotions just picking a woman and being a bully. We don't condone that on either plane, whether it's woman to man or man to woman. We just do not accept or condone that behavior. And this is pretty much following up on a video I've done previously, which was discussing the DJ Academics uh, blow up on Fresh and Fit. Calling out these women, name dropping and just, you know, badgering these women who you do not know. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve because somewhere there is some hurt in you that you have yet to address and let go. You have to you have to let that go. You look at these men getting canceled on false merits. Just because I speak a truth that you do not like or you're, you, you feel uncomfortable with or you see as a threat to the agenda does not mean it is toxic. But some would say that it is getting toxic because you have these blow ups from men who, quote unquote, have esteemed themselves to be high value. Have value men do not go back and forth with women, period. Whether it's personal, social, in a debate, etc. No, we can have the conversation, but I'm not going to blow up and no. The manosphere has had a lot of infiltration and we just welcome everybody with open arms. Just Pearly speaks a lot of facts, but she's a young Caucasian woman who basically has just studied you have to ask yourself what interests would she have in the space, the manosphere, quote unquote, which is predominantly black. When you, when you look at the popular creators, not the numbers, not some of the podcasts, uh, I forgot the names, but they have a more political base. You look at the popular and the more trendy, viral uh, platforms, they're mostly going to be black men. They're going to be black men. The stories that highlight and that display the red pill in real time are mostly going to be men of color. So just Pearlie is again, she provides excellent talking points and information, but you still have to ask, how did she get here? How did she get here? What interest or intrigued her about the manosphere in which she wanted to engage versus having the knowledge of a woman that you would want when it comes to submission, gender roles, etc., would not she just go out and ride into the sunset with a man since she already has the know-how? Since she already has the knowledge and the information, would not she use that for her own gain? Or is it something else more financial base, more fame base? Because she's all she's trending. Everybody wants her on the panel. Everybody wants to listen to her speak. These are just some things to think about. I'm not convicting her for, you know, on anything, but we just have to ask these questions because we get too many spaces. And I'm speaking to the black men in particular that are meant to elevate and to correct. And they are destroyed from within. Cointel Pro. The civil rights uh, movement. So many things that were meant for the good of the black family, the black community only to be left sabotaged from the inside out. You need to be aware of the information that you're taking in, but you more like you you more so need to be uh, looking at who is providing that information and why. Who is providing this information and why are they here? What lick because a person just does not show up on your doorstep. They had to take a journey or a path to get there. Take the red pill with a grain of salt. Some of you may need to lower your dosage and get in the lab. 
Things are not going to get easier because you came into some information. Things will get more productive, but that does not necessarily mean easier. Is the red pill, is the manosphere imploding? Is this toxic? You guys let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Date Master.